Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast dedicated to transforming your health in less time and guilt-free through the power of habit hacking. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, behavior change specialist, fitness and Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained, but lacked the time and confidence to actually make myself a priority. Creating habit strategies around my health was the key to help me finally create a consistent, healthy lifestyle that does doesn't feel hard. I'm now on a mission to equip you with those same sustainable habit hacks to help transform your life from the inside out, guilt-free. Together, we will simplify your health into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but rather consistent actions that add up to a massive transformation that will stick through all seasons of your life. So if you're ready to have it hack your health and create your own self-transformation, then let's do this. You're listening to episode 155 of Self Transformed. Hey friend, welcome back to the show. I am super excited to talk about this topic with you today. Before we get into it though, I wanna remind you about my free mini coaching workshop coming up this Wednesday, the 15th of June at 12 p.m. Eastern in the Self Transformed Facebook community. So it's a free community come join us. I do a free monthly coaching there every month. It's 15 minutes or less. It's like 15 minutes of just some quick action items you can put in your transformation tool belt to start incorporating more healthy habits in your life. And um, every month I ask the ladies in the group to vote on what they'd like to talk about. And this month they want to talk about what to do when you plateau. And that's not just physically, but also maybe mentally with your mindset as well. So I'm really excited to dig into this subject matter with everyone. I've been having fun researching the topic and reflecting on it. So there's a link in the show notes to come join us, or you can go to bit.ly slash self-transformed fam. If you aren't part of the group already, we'd love to have you. Come join us before we start our coaching, our mini coaching together Wednesday. If you can't join us live, no worries. You can catch the replay. And before the coaching session begins on Wednesday, you can actually go be a part of the group, immerse yourself in the guides section. All of my previous workshops are there, free worksheets, downloads, all kinds of goodies for you to start making healthy habits work in your busy life. I do this every month because I love to hear what you all want to talk about, and I can't wait to give back to you all then. Also, the girls in the Facebook community, they get to hear about everything first. There's a big flash sale coming up here in the next week or so. I'm not going to tell you exactly when. If you want to come learn when and how you can be a part of this massive sale, you can come join us during that workshop. I'll share all the details there in the Facebook community and during the workshop. I've also made just a couple little tweaks to self-transform you, my signature program that I'm so excited to share with you all. I'm always asking for feedback back because I want to be able to provide you all what you want to hear about. And as I was thinking about today's podcast episode, I wanted to talk about the benefits of a morning routine. You know, we were talking a couple weeks ago on one of our Habit Hack Thursdays since we're in summer and we're trying to keep a consistent schedule, the beauty of getting up around the same time every day and having some type of morning routine. And and we're talking with some of my girls in the community, they're like, but what if you're not like really a morning person (laughs) or you really just like, you're like, my morning routine is like hitting snooze and like getting up and getting ready as quickly as possible and chaos and chugging my coffee out the door and hoping the kids have, you know, shoes on. (laughs) I've been there plenty of times too. So as I was thinking about talking about creating a morning routine today and rocking it and the benefits of it, I wanted to pull my um, ladies in my Instagram and Facebook community to hear what they had to say about their own morning routine to see if I could see any overlaps, which I definitely did. So in my community, 56% of the ladies who answered the poll said they do have some type of morning routine, okay? 
38% do just sometimes. Okay, just sometimes. Like, yeah, it's hit or miss. And a lot of their common um, uh, things that they do in the morning get involved around, they said movement, drinking water, coffee, prayer, listening to podcasts while getting ready, eating breakfast, workout, meditation, even playing games. So there's quite a few overlaps there. It seemed to be things that really fueled not your body, but also your mind, heart, and soul too. And I love that so much. And I also also followed that up with a question is, how does it make you feel by doing your morning routine? And they said it makes you feel ready for the day. It doesn't feel chaotic. You feel grounded. They said they feel put together and just everything is in order. I love that they all had such similar answers because that's how I personally feel about having a morning routine as well. Now, does my morning routine look the same every morning? No, and it changes as seasons of my life change. As you know, I'm going through an injury right now with my broken tailbone and I'm doing some different movement. I'm actually focusing even more on my daily devotional and prayer because this is a big mindset trip for me as well. Um, I'm really interested to see how I'll be on the other side of this 8 to 12 week recovery. But I really used to consider myself like a night out. Like I have to tell you all, I sleep like a baby. (laughs) I'm such a good sleeper. And I could stay up late. I can sleep in. I can still sleep in for the most part. I haven't been sleeping well since I broke my tailbone, but I can usually sleep in and sleep pretty well. Even when my kids were babies, I could still like get up with them, you know, nurse them, change their diaper, put them right back to sleep, and I'd be right back to sleep as well. So I was like, I can stay up late, I can sleep in. And before I had kids though, I would stay up late and my morning routine was non-existent. (laughs) It really wasn't. I would get up. I would always hit snooze a few times, which would drive my husband crazy. He's like, just set the time for when you want to get up. I'm like, well, I got to ease into it, right? I got to ease into it. And what really forced me into being a morning person and having a morning routine was, you know, a job and then eventually having kids, but then eventually having my own transformation back in 2015 and really wanting to take care of myself. And I had to really evaluate like, okay, when can I take care of myself? And I was like, well, I guess before everyone's up in the morning is like the best use of my time. So how did I do this when I never considered myself a night owl? Well, it didn't happen overnight. I can tell you that much. And when I coach at Orange Theory on Wednesdays and Thursdays, like y'all, I get up at 3.50 a.m. to go coach at 5 a.m. We have to get there half an hour early, set up the room. I got to get up and get the coffee going and all the other things. So I would have never dreamed you know, years ago when my husband and I first got married that I would be getting up that early and loving it because of the way I feel when I'm done. When I'm done doing my morning routine, when I'm done coaching, when I'm done doing anything first thing in the morning, I feel like super productive. I will come home and do all the things and get all the things done. So there's a lot of benefits of having a morning routine and maybe you have tried to create some type of morning routine and you're just like, I'm just not a morning person. So I'm going to share with you just the benefits of a morning routine, you know, the science behind if you're a night person, a night owl or a morning person, and then some simple habits to start creating a morning routine, okay? Because maybe you've tried in the past and you're like, it just has never stuck. I'm not a morning person. Trust me. I've been there too. And over time, I've become a morning person. It's not to say I still don't like to stay up a little later sometimes. I I don't. I'm like a little grandma, though. I'd rather get in my jammies and drink my my hot green tea after the kiddos get to bed and go to sleep myself. (laughs) But let's talk about the benefits of a morning routine. Like I just alluded to, it definitely increases your productivity. Like when I used to run with my girls, I haven't ran in quite a long time, Hey gang, cutting into this conversation real quick to share our amazing partner, Athletic Greens. So I started taking their AG1 because I wanted to optimize my health even more, but I was having a hard time making the habit of taking so many supplements. And as we talk about here all the time, if you aren't enjoying a habit, then simplify it. And AG1 was the answer for me. It's seriously like nine health products in one. So AG1 has 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, 
superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. It's a special blend of ingredients that supports your gut health, nervous system, immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, aging, just all the things. And what I really like about AG1 is that it's lifestyle friendly. So whether you eat paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, it can fit your lifestyle. And I love that it contains less than one gram of sugar and still tastes amazing. It tastes super fresh and not earthy like other nutritional drinks I've tried in the past. So drinking AG1 every day has been a major keystone habit in my health. I have stacked it onto my already established morning habits consistently over the past month, and it has helped me so much with my energy levels. It's helped with my recovery from my workouts and even my digestion. It's so much easier than trying to take a bunch of supplements. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's seriously it. So if you're wanting to give this super simple, convenient daily nutrition a try. Athletic Greens has made this very simple for you. They are going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs, which I never travel without now myself, with your first purchase of AG1. And y'all, it comes in the cutest canister to store your powder in and a bottle to easily measure out your water with a scoop. You'll love it. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash self-transformed. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash self-transformed to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. I can't wait to hear how you love your AG1 too. Let's get back to the show. I would get home and we would go for like a 5 a.m. run. We would go have coffee together or just like drink water in our local Starbucks. And then I would come home and I'm like, I'm going to get the dishes done. I'm going to get a shower. I've all done all this. And, da, 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 da. and then I'm getting my kids up and I'm like, look what I've already done for the day. And that just spills into the productivity, into my work, into other things I'm trying to get done around the house. Like, oh, I'm going to put something in the crock pot for dinner or, oh, I'm actually going to fold my laundry, <laughs> right? It, it increases your productivity. It helps you feel more in control too. I mean, how many of us wake up, snooze, 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 hit the snooze button. You get up and first thing you do, you go sit on your potty and you go potty <laughs> and you're holding your phone, just scrolling social media. You're not in control. Someone else is in control of your day as soon as you turn that phone on and start scrolling. However, if you already have a few things in place that you like to do, like I said, it doesn't have to be the same every morning, but a, a few key things in place for your morning routine, you're going to feel more in control. It's going to boost your energy. Now, you're going to go to bed earlier because you're going to be getting up earlier having this morning routine, but you're going to have so much more energy throughout the day and not feeling so lethargic. And it's going to increase your overall confidence too, okay? It's, you, you can see it's that snowball effect, that snowball, positivity snowball I talk about so much in my programs that just keeps building and building and building. And it starts by having a morning routine. Now, if you're listening to all this and you're like, I know, I know, I know. Well, one of the biggest things is setting the morning routine just gives you a chance to move through motions of healthy activities, kind of like an autopilot. So when you create healthy habits, like we talk about in any of my programs, we talk about habit strategy. And when you are creating new habits, it takes brain power. So it might feel hard. You want to get to the point where it feels like unconscious behaviors, where if you don't do them over time, you're going to almost feel like kind of cranky and like craving them. Okay. But when you practice these healthy habits, such as exercising or even just stretching instead of reaching for your phone the minute you wake up it's going to have an overflow into so many other areas of your day, okay? So, but if you're listening to all this and you're like, girl, I am not a morning person. No, thank you. Well, there's actually some science behind this, okay? So I was doing some research for this podcast, I was, I came across an article from the Sleep Foundation and our sleep-wake cycles are dictated by our circadian rhythm, right? It's an internal clock that regulates our energy levels throughout the day. And the circadian rhythm operates like on a 24-hour schedule that generally just kind of follows like the patterns of the sun, right? So most people feel awake when it's light and then you're sleepy when it's dark. But the specific timing of these schedules can really like vary personally person to person, the variability, the variability of like those specific timings is known as your chronotype. And it's just the official term for whether you're a morning or a night person. So let's talk about morning people. So early birds, 
they have an early chronotype. So you like waking up early, you feel your best early in the day. Night owls, on the other hand, have a late chronotype, okay? They wanna be up later, they feel most motivated and active at night. Like you maybe feel the most creative, you're coming up with all these ideas, maybe you're even working out at night. So you can lie on the spectrum, like you can fall somewhere in between. And I personally think I kind of fall in between. I fall more closely towards a morning chronotype, but I can do, I can swing either, either way. Um, but you know, some people you need to do either or. You might be at different points, different parts of your life, depending on, you know, if you have like a newborn, you know, yeah, that's all different. It's a different type of situation in that case. But it's all, you know, reflected on a physiological level to all the way down to your central nervous system. So in morning people, your brain power, like your brain pathways. So like everything's firing up and most excitable in the morning. Like sometimes I come downstairs and I'll record a podcast first thing in the morning before anyone is up. I feel the most creative and open to creating episodes or editing Um, my courses or creating something new or just even writing like an email or a text to my community, right? They're excited. You're going to have peak performance early in the morning where night owls is just completely opposite. It's going to be later in the day. You know, you hear people like, I'm not doing anything before I have my coffee and I wake up. Totally get that. So it's neither way is like inherently better than the other, right? I think you're just a certain way and the way your central nervous system reacts is just how you are, okay? However, in many ways, from what the Sleep Foundation said, from what I was reading, night owls are at a little bit of a disadvantage. So from work, important activities are often scheduled for the morning, right? Where night owls are still sleepy, right? <laughs> if you got an early doctor's appointment or work meeting, or, you know, most of us are getting up early for work, regardless if you're working from home or not, and you have lower cognitive and physical performance as a result. There's also even a link between depression and being a night owl. So how can you start trying to become a morning person. You know, we already talked about the benefits of having a morning routine, but you're like, okay, I know the benefits, but girl, how am I gonna even get there? So here's a couple of habits, according to the Sleep Foundation, and a couple that I've included myself, that are going to help you slowly become a morning person, kind of like I have. So wake up and go to bed two to three hours earlier than normal. You're like, oh my gosh, easier said than done. And I wanna preface this before I continue as well. I get it. You might be in a season of your life where you're having a really hard time sleeping. You've you've heard my husband's story, and that's that kind of started our whole transformation is when he went through a terrible time of shift work and not sleeping, and when he finally got healthier, like, it was great. And my husband is not a morning routine person. Like, he has his morning routine, but he, he prefers to do a lot of things in the afternoon, and that's great. But he does have some type of morning routine, all right? It doesn't have to be big or elaborate. But... I digress. I know we're all going through different seasons of our life. So try to wake up and go to bed earlier, okay? Closely maintaining the sleep schedule even on your days off from work and school, okay? Get outdoor light. Get outside. Get that vitamin D. You know, when you have a baby, they're like, get your baby outside. Expose them to, you know, natural light. It's going to help them sleep at night. Hello, it's same for us as adults. So even adjust your meals. So if you have breakfast, have breakfast a little earlier, have dinner earlier, avoid caffeine later in the day or napping. Like after three or four, no caffeine or napping or that could affect your sleep and resist going to bed at an earlier time, right? You can slowly start doing these things and over time, start incorporating now a morning routine. So here's a couple of habit hacks to create a morning routine, okay? So we talked about the benefits of it. We talked about how to become a morning person slowly but surely. And then let's actually talk about these habit hacks. So first I would start with why. Like why do you wanna be a morning person? Why do you wanna have some type of morning routine, right? I just went through the benefits of it with you, but you have to know why. Like, why why do you think this would be beneficial to you? It might just be an issue of time. That's what it started with for me. I was like, I just don't have time to do anything for myself. Like, working out after work, like, ugh, I don't don't like working out that time of day. And plus, my kids are home and I feel guilty, right? You know what I'm talking about. So start off why. 
and then snart, snart, start small, okay? You don't have to do it all. Like, I would pick one thing you want to start doing in the morning, and it could just be like, I want to get up an hour earlier, and I want to drink water or coffee by myself for 10 minutes and, like, read, like, a, a book for 10 minutes and then get a shower before the kids get up or my husband or anyone else gets up. One of the other things the girls in the community we were talking about is just the beauty of when you get up before everyone else. Oh, it's beautiful. You're it's you're up by yourselves. It's quiet. It's a time for you to kind of clear your mind. It's the most beautiful time of morning. Well, I'm my dogs are always with me. <laughs> and then I get up and I make my coffee. I let, get drink my water. I let them out, feed them, and then they go right back to sleep. <laughs> but they're usually sitting right next to me. So start start small. Okay. Think about okay. Do I want to do movement? Do I want to do you know coffee and reading for ten minutes? And then stack. So st habit stacking. So stack some cues up if it's working out lay your workout clothes out. If it's, you know, having a glorious cup of coffee, maybe get like a special coffee mug and set it out to remind you like this is my special time for my morning routine and visual cue there and there it is. Okay. Set up those cues, stack it onto maybe something you already do, like making your coffee, letting your dogs out, whatnot, and then just give it time. Setting new habits takes brain power like we were just talking about, but over time it becomes an unconscious behavior that you don't have to think about. And soon enough, you'll start to crave it. Now, trust me, there are plenty of times where I'm like, I need the rest. I need to sleep a little longer. My morning routine is going to be a little shorter today, but I have pretty much the same things I do every day. It's not a long list. It's always make the coffee, drink the water. <laughs> oh, okay, here's what I do. I get up. I say a little prayer as I pee because I am stacking prayer on top of when I go pee in the morning. It may sound silly, but hey, we got to get creative, right? This is how we have it act in the self-transformed world. I come downstairs. I drink a big glass of water as I let my dogs out. I take any supplements. I make my coffee, and then I will open up my pad of paper and just journal for a little bit or I'll spend a little time in prayer or meditation. Usually I'll use an app to help me with that. I like using Headspace for that. And also I'm following along with um, the Seasons of Soap prayer journal that I have from Horatio Printing. Um, but actually, I've been doing my devotional more in the afternoon, to tell you the truth. It works out better for me then. And sometimes I'll open up my computer and get a little work done and start it from there. Okay, but if it's a Orange Theory morning where I'm coaching, I get up, I make my coffee, I do the same routine, and then I continue my morning routine when I get home, and that always involves movement. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I'll do some movement, which right now it's a lot different. It's a lot different than normal, but I'm either doing it before or after I'm coaching, or maybe it's a rest day and I'm not doing anything, and that's okay. So these are just like a few things I do every single day as part of my morning routine. I crave them. I'm, I feel grumpy if I don't do them. Did it happen overnight? No. Like we always talk about, it takes 21 days to form a habit, 90 days for it to feel like a lifestyle, and then it feels like a lifestyle until it just doesn't fit in your life anymore. And then you start the process over again, which is what I help people do, which is what I help busy working moms do, is help you habit hack healthy habits into your life to help you feel amazing, right? We know what to do, but we just can't seem to do it consistently. So that's what we're going to help. That's what I help you do. Okay. All right. I hope I convinced you to try some little bit of a morning routine or maybe convinced you to stop calling yourself, I'm just a night owl, I'm not a morning person. And that's okay if you're like, girl, I've, I've tried all the things to try to be a morning person. I get it. I get it. Give it a shot with just one little thing. Sometimes we try to make our morning routine like 10 steps long. Just do one thing and see how it works and let me know how it goes. All right, gang. I hope to see you in our free workshop this Wednesday the 15th at 12 p.m. Eastern. Join us live or catch the replay. Hear all about the upcoming sale and a couple little tweaks happening to self-transform you. I'm super excited to see you there, and I'll catch up with you again later this week for Habit Hack Thursday. See you then. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you want some free motivation texted to you every week from me to help you have it hack your health, send me your favorite emoji to 773-904-2157 and sign up for my weekly pump up text.
I can't wait to catch up with you there. Hey, and if you love the podcast, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way more mamas can also find the show. Then you can even email me a screenshot of your review and I'll send you either a Starbucks gift card or give you a free habit hacking call with me live on the podcast. Love and appreciate you, friend. I'll see you next time.